जय श्री मारायण 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 जय श्री
in the right hand of the Lord, right upper hand of the Lord, the two hands, right? Lord is eternal and His uh, weapons, garlands, jewelry, all these are also eternal. And they are not like the weapons or the jewelry or garlands, what we see in the world. They are all sentient objects. What we see in the world is non sentient objects. If you see a chakra, it has to be prepared as a chakra and you have to use it. It depends upon your own ability and how you use it. And if you have an arrow, it depends upon your own ability as how you use this arrow. Or if it is a maze or a sword, it depends upon the user's capabilities and his skills. But whatever are there in the hands of the Lord, are not like that. They are all sentient objects as we are. So Sudarsana is a, a Nitya Suri. Panchajanya is a Nitya Suri. Kaumodaki is a Nitya Suri. Nandaka is a Nitya Suri. Sangam is a Nitya Suri. And his Vanamala is a Nitya Suri. And the mole he has on his chest called Sri Vatsa, also a Nitya Suri. All these are called Nitya Suris. That means they are Jeevas, eternal souls, who are constantly with a Lord. And they work as per the sankalpa of the Lord. They are not like, you know, and then it goes in short work. No. He need not use them at all. If he thinks in his heart, this should happen like this, it starts working. He need not send something or he should throw something. No, that is not necessary. As per his Divya Sankalpa, we call it Divya Sankalpa, a divine wish. 
you might have heard the entire universe also is created just because of his divya sankalpa, not with his physical effort whatsoever. Veda says, Tadaikrata Bahusyam Praja Ye Eti. He took a sankalpa, he took a decision in his heart. Let me become many. Aham Bahusyam. That's it. Things started moving. Tejas came out of him. And water emanated out of that. And all the solid stuff also came out of the water. They started dividing within themselves and also started joining together each one in a in a systematic combination. <coughs> the Tejas became, if you imagine that as a ball, just for our thought's sake, because we can't just imagine what is mean by Tejas, what is mean by water, what is mean by soil. So if you imagine that as a ball, it became half, one half and the other half. And same with the water, it became two, one half and the other half. And same with the soil, became half, one and the other. So now how many parts? Three into two. Six. Six parts. Out of that, the soil became again, one half became two. Why? Because other elements are two. So the half became two and each one of them were merged with two other elements. And it's also the water. It became two, right? One half is taken and made half and added with the other elements. Same with the pages. When it became two parts, one part made two parts again, half, half, and added with the rest of the two elements like water and the soil. Can you imagine the proportions now? If you take the soil, only 50% is the soil. Rest of the 50% is mixed with the water and the pill. Same if you take the water, 50% is pure water. For the rest of the stuff, mixed with the soil and the tejas. And if you take the tejas, only 50% is the real tejas. For the rest of the 50%, half is with water and half is with the soil. Then he stood up all those three secrets separately. Now what is happening? No element is pure. If you take the soil, it is <coughs> mixed up with the rest of the two. Take the water, mixed up with the two. And take the edges, mixed up with the rest of the two elements. Three elements which are visible only were taken by the Vedas. And then, now you see all the elements just came out of him. 
and they became a kind of mixture. Totally each one became a component by itself. They started functioning on their own. Now, a son was listening from the father and father is giving the explanation and it was doubtful. Dad, is it right? No, there is no pure element at all. He said, no. Really? How can I understand that? So simple. I'll take you to a fireplace. He took the train to a fireplace. And there he was pumping the fire. And then the fire was just flaming. And then he showed the flames. Look, are you observing the flames? I said, yes, Dad. What are, the, what are the colors that you are able to see in the flames? Then he slowly observed. Carefully, he was able to understand, yes, Dad, there is a kind of combination, the colors of the flames. Yes. What is the real color of the fire? Red. Gold. What is the real color of water? Pure white. What is the color of the soil? Real color of the soil? Black. Black. <coughs> so what is the real color of the fire? Golden. golden color. But are you able to see just golden color in the flame? No. What are you seeing then? In the top we see the blue color. In the middle we see the gold color. At the beginning we see the a kind of white color. Then if it is fire, why that kind of color mixing? Why it should show such kind of colors? Understand? The sun said, I have no idea that. Listen, as I said, fire what you see today is not a pure fire at all. It is a kind of combination of other two elements. Right? So, whatever the color you see in gold color, that is the real color of the fire. And whatever the blue flame at the top you see, they are earthly particles which are glowing there. And whatever the white color you are able to see, that is the water element that is visible there, which is mixed up with an element fire. Same with water. You see different colors in the waters. They are because of the combinations. You see different colors of the soil. That's because of the mixture of other elements. You want to make some announcement? And so, any element, whatever you see now, is not at all pure. It's a combination. So, lack of purity is not our mistake. <laughs> Manufacturer defect. <laughs> he mixed up the things. Why dad he has to mix up like that? Otherwise it won't stand for any kind of reparation. Do you know gold? Gold. What is the gold? Real color. 
ゴールかな<笑> Are you able to see the pure gold? How many carats gold do you see? 22 or less. 22. Still purifying? 24. Is it pure? No. Then what do you call the pure gold? It's called Aparanji. It's called Aparanji. But you can't make anything out of it. If the gold is 100% pure, It just can't make, it's just like a, like a paste. You can't make any ornament out of it. You have to add some other element like copper with it. And then, yes, it becomes strong. Then you can make anything out of it. It is for practical purpose that we have to have such kind of thing. Okay, Dad, then what happened? You understand that there are now three things. What are those three? Mixed fire, mixed water, mixed air. Three things. All those three were just combined at once, what we call as the Big Bang. That happened then. When it happened, then came millions and trillions of planets and galaxies. And then he chose one. And in that, he created a body and kept a soul in that. And his name became? Brahma. Brahma. And then he preached him all the Vedas. And Brahma asked, Why all this is for me? And then he instructed, Stop creation. What is the material? And he just gave the mixed material. You know pizza, right? <laughs> How do they make pizza? There are stalls here nearby. But they don't make the real, the content on their own. It's made somewhere. They only know how to make it. They send it to these guys. These will fry and just they give you. They will heat it up and probably they will serve you. But the real mixture, the combination, what are the contents, what are the elements that are to be mixed with it, that you can't do it. They only know that. They only will supply brandy. And then it goes. You know Starbucks, why it became so famous? After all, it's only coffee powder. Can't you make coffee powder in your home? But if you make, do you get that kind of taste with it? Why? <coughs> <don't know. laughs> they make some kind of proportions. And then they only supply that. That's monopolized. And they send it to different, different people. They make, of course, their own business, that is their choice. But the original content is patentized by them. You can't just copy it. Even if you try to copy, you won't be able to make it. What they do, how they do, it is trade secret. That's how he made the elemental combination. Otherwise, you may be knowing, you know, so many scientists are working on these elements, you know, 
how can we create a life in all these elements by adding something or deleting something and making some kind of changes out of the elements. So much research is going on, but they couldn't create that life at all in this. It's his job. He only does it. And then he created one Brahman. He brought all the patentized mixture to him. Take this content, start preparing, and these are the molds for you. <laughs> Chaturvarniyam. That's called it Chaturvarniyam. Devatas, Manushyas, Stavaras, and non sentient objects. Start creation in your own way. A little freedom is given. What you call is a conditioned freedom. Conditioned freedom. Freedom is there, but it's pretty much conditioned. Restrained. Restrained. Huh? Restrained. Restrained. Yeah. We call it as a conditioned freedom. So, that's how he started working. Others started working. Rudra was came and Rudra was given something and then he started doing something. Indra came, he started doing something. All these are interested different. But you know how it happened? How all this happened? Just by his sankalpa. Just by his thought. He took a thought, rest of the things started moving on their own. Everything happened. You need to give a command to them. Hey, Alaska, do this. <laughs> you have to speak out. But with him, no speech. Just thought in the heart itself is pretty much enough for him. He thought of something. Everything. Bahusya Prija e e t Happened. Everything. Satyatyacha bhavati niruppancha niruppancha nilayanancha nilayanancha satyancha niruppancha satyam abhavati Whatever you see moving, whatever you see non-moving, whatever you see lively, whatever you see non-lively, non-living, whatever you see that can be named, and whatever that you won't be able to see that cannot be named. There are many things like that. All these things just emanated out of him. That's it. We did just Sankalpa. So Sankalpa only that works to do any kind of stuff. So that's an also is like that. The Lord so that's an also. And the Pancha Janya Sankha, he did not take and say, ooh, 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 ooh. No, not necessary. <laughs> you know, that much of strain and stress are not at all necessary. He thinks, yes, come on, Sudarshana or Pancha Janya. Perfect. Stop working. That's it. So, all those things are eternal and also having consciousness with them. Chaitanya is there with them. They are not achetanas. Then, how can you say that they are born and there is a jayanti for that? Then what is this solution a jayanti today? Why we have to celebrate it as jayanti? See, we say we also observe Garuda Jayanti. Garuda is an eternal soul with the Lord, constantly with Him. Is one among the Nityasuris. When somebody asks about Nityasuris, you see only three names constantly we hear: Ananda, Garuda, Vishwaksena. So Garuda is one among them; is always there. Then why people celebrate Garuda Jayanti? Sesha Jayanti. Is it necessary? 
not really. Now God is eternal. Why people celebrate his Jayanti? But God, why Pirunakshatra? Means at specific times for certain reasons. He appears in a specific form. That becomes his death. But commonly, Sravana star is Lord's Jayanti. Tiruvana, Tiruvyavi, Andiyam, Bodhala, Riyuruvadi. But if it is Tiruvana, Tiruvyavi, then why Swati star for Narasimha? Andiyam, Bodhala, Riyuruvadi, Ari, Aditavana. So, Sravanam is considered as commonly the Vishnu star. And at times it chooses to be in a specific form, then that specific time and star and date, everything is considered as his Jayanti. Every star is his Jayanti. So also for his different, different Jewelry, ornaments, and weapons also like that. Sudarshana is always with him. Now Sudarshana need not come separately. Whenever he goes and in whichever form he goes, all they keep following him. That's it. Even mother, if he comes in the form of Rama, mother follows in the form of Sita. And then all other you know, subjects like Adhisesha follows as Lakshman, Garuda follows as Bharata, and Vishwaksena follows as Sitrukna, and many others follow them, you know, in different, different forms, suitable for the specific appearance, avatar. So also when he becomes Krishna, then also the same thing. And Mahalakshmi becomes Rukmini and others follow in their own form. So when Lord becomes Archamurti, even then also all these forms in those specific names, forms. So for Sudarsana, as a matter of fact, no Jainti is needed because he is always with the Lord. But when he comes down in Avatara, Whenever something is given to him by somebody, that day becomes a day or date or nakshatra. You know Panjajanyam? What is that? Oh. And for Lord Krishna, it was the Agni Devata gave the Panjajanyam. Do you know that? And also to Arjuna, their senkhams, their conscious have different names also. And as we keep some name to our pet animals, right? Our pussy, puppy, dog. <laughs> like that we keep some names to them. So also for the Lord's divine uh, Parivara, there are even names also. And his uh, Chakram is named as Sudarsana and his Sankham is named as Pancha Janya. And it was given to him. Arjuna also was having a conch. What is the name of the conch? Devada. Exactly. Devada Pancha Janya Maharshi Keso Devadattam Dhananjaya Pongram Dadma Mahasankam Bhima Karma Rukodara. So now in Bhagavad Gita first chapter, we listen to all the names of those conscious Pandavas were holy. Right? For them they may be names, but for Krishna and for Arjuna, that's Panjajanyam and Arjuna was the Deva Dattam. And uh, there is a nice mentioning in Bharat. <coughs> After the Rajasuya Yagam was completed and uh, the fire was not 
totally happy with the, the offerings that they made into the fire. He was not really able to digest all the stuff that is offered into the fire. It should be totally and completely burned to ashes. It should happen like that, for which sufficient ghee also must be offered. Maybe that was not done and the Agni Devata got in digestion, it seems. So he could not digest the whole stuff. And then he requested Arjuna. Because Arjuna was uh, uh, amphidextrous. You know? So he was called Savyas Archi. So very powerful uh, archer. Right? So he was requested by Agni Devata, hey, can you save me please? Can you support me? Arjuna said, no problem. Because Arjuna was pretty arrogant at times. You know? uh, because he got this support of Krishna. So he said, yeah, no problem, yes I can. So what should I do now for you? He said, look Arjuna, I am very much suffering from indigestion. So I need to burn something. Okay, you do. But not, uh, you know, ordinary stuff I want to do. Then what? There is a big garden grown by Indra. That's called Khandavavana. Its name was Khandavavana. And that Khandavavana should be burned to ashes in total. It was grown by Indra. <coughs> It belongs to Indra. Indra is his father only. Whose father? Arjuna. Arjuna's father. And Agni Devata said, you know, uh, Khandavavanam is something which I have to burn because there are so many medicinal plants and stuff. So it can digest my uh, problems, you know, very clearly. So I want to burn it. Then he was, you know, took a bath. Is Khandavavana? That has grown up by my own father. Indra? That you want to do? And uh, yes, Arjuna, you already promised to do, do something for me. And now you are just, you know, thinking twice and thrice. Can't really help me. And he said, you know, you would have said initially, <laughs> I want to burn Indra's. Uh, garden and now you are you know slowly telling it, revealing it, a chao kauru and a chalaga chepina too. Ideva nyayandra naina, mundi japats kade edo. And then I said, it's okay. But if I haven't promised, then I have to do it. Is that no? Just giving away the promise is equal to death. So I just can't do that. Anyway, let us do it. And let us seek, seek the support of Lord Krishna also. And then he went and he asked Krishna to support me, support him, Arjuna. And Krishna, of course, uh, accepted and both went and the, the fire, Devata, Agni Devata, started burning the Khandava forest. And Indra was pretty much upset with it and then he sent his powerful clouds and then they started raining but Arjuna was able to construct a rice a roof with the arrows and of course he was able to protect the fire and fire they would have burned the whole Khandavavana to ashes. And of course later Indra realized and was pretty happy that it was done by Arjuna. During that time, Agni Devata was very much pleased with the support of Arjuna and Krishna. And then he, they, along with all other devatas, presented a few things to both of them, to Krishna and Arjuna. The conscious were given by the fire, by the Agni Devata. Pantijanya was brought by them. And Devadattam was given by the Gandivam, the 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 bow also was given by Devatas, and the chariot called Nanda Ghusha also was given. Then 
So all these were presented. It, at that time, they brought the Sankam also to the Lord Krishna, Panchajanya. But Panchajanya was not there before with Krishna. It was there, but during that time, there was a demon called Panchajana and who was causing a lot of damage in the oceans. Probably he may be spoiling the water, you know, with the oil mines and stuff like that. <laughs> and that Panchajina was finished, and then the, con the, the bone of that, maybe a kind of fish, I don't know. And his bone was, was carved as the conch, so it became Panchajanya. It belongs to Panchajina. And then was given to the Lord for his the Sankha purpose. That's how it came. So the day when it came like that, it became the Pan Panchajanya's birthday. So also all his weapons, all his ornaments, all his jewelry, whichever are there, when he is in avataras, during those avatara times, whenever such kind of things were presented to him, they were taken as the birthdays or jayantis of those ornaments or jewelry or weapons, something like that. Otherwise, for Sudarshana, who is always with him, is it necessary to have any Jayanti, Sudarshan and Jayanti today on this Chitta star. Is it necessary for Garuda Jayanti? Really not necessary. But when he comes, then comes like, you know, Garuda one day, you know, he was born to uh, Devatas, uh, Garuda, and Aruna, both born and uh, Garuda came out of the uh, egg and then he, he saw his mother was serving to someone and he wanted to relieve her from that bondage and he went to Swarga Loka and fought with Devatas and brought the part of uh, uh, Amrita, the nectar. <coughs> And again gave it to those guys and then relieved his uh, mother from the bondage. This is what the story just we read. And thus the mother blessed him. And because of mother's blessings, then he got the service of the Lord Mahavishnu and became Vahana. And before the Goda was not there. Before Lord was not Garuda Vahana. <coughs> so then also he was Garuda Vahana. But all these kind of things happen during some avatara. And that avatara day or whatever that happened in during those avataras are taken as the birth stars of those parivara of the Lord. So also for Sudarshana. Sudarshana was a beautiful, powerful chakra that's in the Lord's hand, works with his just simple thought, does any kind of thing. In fact, it is said, Sudarshana Heti Raja. Sudarshanaya Heti Rajaya, they said. You know, he is the the king of all the uh, weapons of the Lord Mahavishnu. And uh, with his command, only all other weapons not work. <coughs> so he's a commander in chief of all the weapons, you know, that's what we can say. All the ammunitions. And uh, whenever Lord goes in Pacific Avatara, Sudarshana also follows. If he is uh, Narasimha, then the Sudarshana takes the form of nails. If he is uh, 
varaha, then he takes the form of the horn. If he is a vamana, you know, even when he is as a vamana, also just he hides himself in him, maybe in his feet. So for whichever avatara and whatever the protecting element is needed, Sudarsana transforms himself into the specific form and supports or serves the Lord. And today the Chitta star is considered as the star of Lord Sudarsana. And maybe the reason, because Swati is a star of Lot, who appeared in the form of Narasimha, right? So, before Lot comes, all his Parivara comes and makes all the arrangement, right? So, that's the reason probably Sudarshana came on this Chitta star. And today he is considered as Sudarshana Chayanti. And uh, it is always nice to take his support even for all of our activities. Because most of the times, you know, it is our mind that works and creates some kind of weakness or disturbance where we lose the focus and then sometimes we may not be able to achieve the goal. And we need a kind of support and strength of divine intervention. That happens through Sudarshana. So you can chant the name of Sudarshana and take his support. That itself saves us a lot. You know, Sudarshana is not just confines to himself. Sudarshana is the one who makes you also a Sudarshana. Understand? He makes you also Sudarshana. And Sudarshana is the one who shows Sudarshana to you. He himself is a Sudarshana. What does it mean by Sudarshana? Divine appearance. He appears you know, with all effulgence, right? So he is in Sudarshana. Beautiful to see. A great divine effulgent form. That is Sudarshana. And if you meditate on him, he makes you also Sudarshana. Sudarshana means? Good appearance. He makes you uh, to appear in a beautiful way to others by setting up your your internal systems or setting your mind process in a proper way. Where if your mind works properly, you behave properly by your behavior. You are liked by the people at all. And then you are able to do good things. And that's how you are liked by people. People are not always liked or adored, don't think just by the color. Or some people may not be having a charming personality, but their activities make them adorable, worshipable. That happened because of their thought process. The thought process happens like that because of their focus. And the focus, by stopping distractions, will be blessed by Him. So, He makes use to the Shena so that people try to understand you and follow you. You become so the Shena. And the real darshanam is a part. And if your vision should become good means you should be able to see the presence of God in everything. 
that only the vision becomes pure and divine. If you see the cloth, yeah, don't see just the beauty of the cloth, but see that how it adds something so that you can have the vision of God. Then that becomes real beauty stuff. God is there in that. And your vision should penetrate till that. And you see the light, see the tree, you see any stuff, physical appearance and inner, some kind of power, what you call the soul, the atma of that, that gives a name to that and within that, the presence of God that makes the structure as it is to be seen by us. See anything, your vision should penetrate till that. That is what all our scriptures talk about. And it is there in everything. That is called Sutta Rishya. Then only your, your knowledge becomes Sutta Rishya. Showing you the real stuff, real things. This happens by the grace of Acharyas. That is called Vedanta actually. You understand? That is only called Vedanta. What is the Vedanta? Any the object you see physically will have some elemental structure. Behind that there will be some kind of soul in that to make that structure to happen and behind that there is a single universal power supports that to be in a specific form and the same universal being is behind me, behind you, behind everything around us. This is called Apariyavasana Vritti, what they call in Sanskrit is a big technical term. Apariyavasana Vritti. That means not stopping. See, if you see here, your vision is blocked here. But if you see the glass, your vision is not blocked. Right? It penetrates through that and sees whatever is there on the other side. So that is called, this is Pariyavasana stopping you in penetrating, but it is not stopping in your vision, penetrate through this, <coughs> right? So also all the sounds, any sound you produce, it reaches ultimately to the inner power, what you call God. Anything. If you see the coin, physical structure, if your vision stops, it is Pariyavasana stop here. But don't stop it here. Pariyavasana should not be there. That happens when you know it properly. Then it goes into this, there will be some inner soul that took this form and behind that there is God who allowed it to take that form, who supports that form. The same power is supporting you and I. So same power is supporting all these galaxies. If you are able to have such a kind of vision, that means your vision is Su Darsena. Your Darsena is Su, Sustu, Sundaram. Otherwise it's not Sundar. <coughs> you see only the superstructure, and confined there itself and it is tomorrow, today like this, tomorrow it, it keeps on changing and after a few days it disappears. Everything are like that in this universe. So that is Sudarshan, a perfect knowledge, divine knowledge makes us Sudarshan and so shows us the Sudarsana, being Sudarsana by itself is called Sudarsana. 
let the sudarshana be with us always and make us sudarshanas and show us the sudarshanam everywhere and let us lead a life with the peace and joy right so god bless you all on this day so should we chant what shloka of sudarshana so that we can remember it always will it be okay and of course i have just heard all of you are well aware of the sudarshana satakam very big one and you are all joining with madhu swami when he was chanting and you are able to read it very well it's good what about sudarshana ashtakam who know that sudarshana ashtakam right okay very nice and uh, can we chant that sudarshana ashtakam will it be all right do you have that with you yes Or normally you can go to the without books also we can manage. <laughs> Om Asmat Guru Pyo Namaha. Asmat Guru Pyo Namaha. Prati Bhata Sreeni Bhishana. Prati Bhata Sreeni Bhishana. ಪರಿಭಾಷಣ ಕಾರಣ ನಿಖಿಲ ದುಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಷಣ ನಿಖಿಲ ದುಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಷಣ ನಿಖಿಲ ದುಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಷಣ ನಿಗಮ ಸದ್ಧರ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನ ನಿಗಮ ಸದ್ಧರ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುದರ್ಶನ 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 it's easy right the last part is so nice <laughs> jay jay shri sudarshana 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 yeah this part we all can just chant together next ಶುಭ ಜಗತ್ ರೂಪ ಮಂಡನ ಶುಭ ಜಗತ್ ರೂಪ ಮಂಡನ ಶುಭ ಜಗತ್ ರೂಪ ಮಂಡನ ಸುರಜನ ತ್ರಾಸ ಖಂಡನ ಸುರಜನ ತ್ರಾಸ ಖಂಡನ ಸುರಜನ ತ್ರಾಸ ಖಂಡನ ಸತಮಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಂದಿತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಂದಿತ ಶತಪಥ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಂದಿತ ವಿದ್ವತ್ಸ ಪಕ್ಷಿತ ಪ್ರಧಿತ ವಿದ್ವತ್ಸ ಪಕ್ಷಿತ ಭಜ ದಿರ್ ಬುಧ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಿತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಜಯ ಜಯ 
गुप्ता दिस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सुदर्शन अष्टकम नाइस टू रीड इज एन इट जय 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 श्री सुदर्शन महाज्वाला considered as not a good day right because the uh, in tamil they say it is sev vai they call it sev vai that means blended mouth so tuesday is considered in a very very uh, a dangerous day <laughs> So normally, no mahutam sakya from Tuesday. No auspicious things are done on that day. Act <coughs> on Tuesday. It is a day for Lord Narasimha. It's a day for mighty Hanuman also. So we can keep them in front of us. and then we can start working and when lord narsimha is there sudarsana is always there with him you might have seen the in temples wherever there is sudarsana samiti on the other side you can see narsimha in yoga posture yoga narsimha also will be there because with narsimha the teeth are sudarshana the nails are sudarshana and hair is sudarshana everything is just you know surrounded by sudarshana and that's how the lord was able to just finish the sudarshana it is you know beautifully said it seems that sudarshana took twenty forms and he was in all the nails 10 nails and 10 nails and he was just waiting for the feast <laughs> when lord is going to just you know give me the nice feast of uh, hiranyakashipu and each nail is craving for that each nail but collectively for all the 20 nails only small and you know, a bowl was available hiranyakashipu he came like that and the simha he came like that and uh, even uh, uh, in telugu it is wonderfully said okka goru pantikinda kuda vadale iravai gollu 
కూడా ఆశపడుతున్నా ఎప్పుడు వెళ్ళి తీర్చేద్దామా ఎప్పుడు వెళ్ళి తినేద్దామా అలాంటిది చూడండి మన రైస్ కోసం మన వాళ్ళు షాప్స్ మీదకి జంప్ చేసి అలాగా స్టార్ అవుతూ ఉండేటటువంటి ఇరవై మందికి ఒక చోట పెట్టి వాళ్ళ మధ్యలో ఇంత అన్న ముద్ద వేశారు అనుకోండి ఏమవుతుంది అందరూ దానికి ఎగబడి ఎగబడి వాళ్ళని తోసేసి వీళ్ళు వీళ్ళని తోసేసి వాళ్ళు ఏదో తినేద్దాం అనుకుంటారు కదా అలాగా ఇరవై గోళ్ళు కూడా వాడిని ఎప్పుడు తిందామా ఎప్పుడు తిందామా అని చూస్తుంటే కదా ఒక్కడు దొరికాడు ఇంత వాళ్ళు అంటే నృసింహ బికేమ్ సచ్ యూ నీడ్ వాజ్ వెరీ స్మాల్ టు సేవ్ ప్రహ్లాద దానికి చిన్న మంది వేస్తే సరిపోయాయి ఎమర్జెన్సీ కేర్ లో డ్రామా సెంటర్ ఎందుకని ఇట్స్ నాట్ ద నీడ్ రియల్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద మ్యాగ్నానిమిటీ ఆఫ్ యువర్ కన్సర్న్ ఫర్ ద బేబీ దట్ ఈస్ ది వాల్యూమ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ లవ్ మేక్స్ లైక్ టు టేక్ దట్ మచ్ ఆఫ్ కేర్ అలాగే ప్రహ్లాదుడు ఇంతవాడు వాడికి అవసరం ఇంతే బట్ the lord took such a big form where i think such a big hiranyakas pose was not enough even to the one tooth of one nail and the bed of all these guna kaina that is the concern of the lord for devotees for us also and if we are sincere